now I have to walk 11 minutes back past the job and two blocks past the job to go find said car. I'm walking past crackheads, drug dealers, and gangbangers. I look like I would be kidnapped and sold for parts. I look like somebody's gonna beat me up, take my Crocs, and take my phone is how the area that I'm walking into, I'm scared for my life. Not even joking, and I am dramatic, but this time I'm not being dramatic. I'm just like, oh my God, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's currently 9 59 p.m and i'm going to work i finally met with the new nanny today and i really liked her i always like that when i meet with them just their values align with mine and everything seems great and i think i'm gonna work with her but of course the primary nanny i had her scheduled for tonight and tomorrow and right now it's 10 p.m and she just messaged me like 15 minutes ago because i messaged her and asked her if she's almost here and she's just like oh no i'm gonna get there at like 10 or 10 15. i meant to message you earlier but i forgot and i kid you not for the past couple of weeks this is what she's been doing every night it's very rare when she comes like 9 30 one or two of the night the other night she comes here at 10 and like 10 15 or whatever and it's just uh, you say nothing you're running late and i think because i'm so very nice and so accommodating she probably just feels like we're friend and friends and you don't need to show up on time and at the end of the day i'm paying you and it doesn't matter if i'm paying you a nickel a dime or fifty dollars come here on time or communicate that you're running late if we agree on 9 30 and it's 9 32 you're late and i'm not saying that i'm a stickler for the 9 30 or like the 9 32 i'll give you like a good 10 minutes but communicate you know what i mean so it makes me feel like tomorrow i want to schedule the new nanny because I just don't feel like I've taken an Uber last night. I'm going to take an Uber tonight because my friend is not working. But also, I'm trying to take public transit and like, you know what I mean? But also, I want to take an Uber when I want to. Not because I have to, because you're late constantly. So that's really bothering me. Oh. Now I don't even know if I want her to come tomorrow night. Or if I want to just call the new nanny and let her come tomorrow night. And just be done with this one because i wouldn't have scheduled her for any days next week anyway because she's going on vacation and i just feel like the two nights that i would have scheduled her for she would have been late or i'm wondering if i should just ride the wave let her come the last night tomorrow night and just be done with it afterwards but i'm so annoyed because like are you even gonna come on time tomorrow night and the problem is not even being late, but it's just being late and not communicating it. And I'm having to reach out to you. Like, come on, have some decency. So as you guys can see, that's how I feel I'm venting um, to my friend because this is ridiculous. <laughs> come on. But um, yeah, that's where we're at. Mia just went down for her nap. She was watching Miss Rachel for a little bit and I had her bottle and I'm like, you know what? Let me give her a bottle and put her down. Because I saw that she was tired. She was really a trooper and rode it out with me throughout to the entirety of my class tonight. Because my class ended at about 9.15 tonight. Because we have a final. Um, today's Tuesday. We have a final on Thursday. And um, he wanted to like go over a few things for the final. So the class just ran freaking late. So now, you know, I'm here. But I still managed to get everything done on time, feed her, bathe her, everything on time, and still, this guy is not there. But anyway, that's where we're at. You guys, I have to tell you all about this predicament. I leave work. My friend who I normally come to work with, she didn't work tonight. My friend who I normally come to work with is off tonight. So my other friend who lives close to me, he's just like, yeah, I could just drop you home. So I'm like, okay, he's like, you would just have to wait a few minutes, but I'll drop you home. So I'm like, okay, cool. So before the shift ends, I go and I'm like, just give me your key and I will find your car and go sit in there and wait. He gives me the directions to his car. 
he sends me the opposite direction from where his car actually is. I walk and I'm looking for the car and I have the key in my hand and I can't find the car. So now I'm waiting. Now I'm out here for 30, 45 minutes. And he's like, oh, this is crazy. I can't understand how you can't find the car. And I'm and I'm thinking for sure I'm in the right spot because I don't know cars. I just can't find the car. So I'm like, listen, I'm just a girl. It's okay if I don't know the exact color of your car and what it looks like. And I can't find it right now. He sends me the license plate number. I still can't find the car. So I'm just standing there. I'm like, all right, I'm going to wait until you come out. You can come here. And, you know, I'm prepared to be embarrassed that I'm standing right there and the car is right there. And I don't see the car and I have the key in my hand. And I press the, the unlock button and I still don't see the car. Friend comes out of work. The car is in the complete opposite direction. Now I have to walk 11 minutes back past the job and two blocks past the job to go find said car. I'm walking past crackheads, drug dealers, and gangbangers. I look like I would be kidnapped and sold for parts. I look like somebody's going to beat me up, take my Crocs, and take my phone is how the area that I'm walking into, I'm scared for my life. Not even joking. And I am dramatic, but this time I'm not being dramatic. I'm just like, oh my God, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? I'm scared. But like he sends me his location i send him mine so he can see where i'm at and that's how we discovered that i'm in the wrong direction i'm you know but also i went the direction that he told me and the coordinates that he sent me that's where they were in the direction where i was so he sent me the wrong direction <laughs> anyways now i'm getting duncan so i'm not even mad or anything but i'm kind of mad because I would have walked back already, but also the area that that car was in, I don't know, maybe I would have been better off waiting. Oh, here's my Duncan! Hello, you guys. It is nighttime. It is 10.31 p.m. Today, I had my last and final math class. I survived statistics. Barely. Thank God to chat GPT or whatever it's called, but I survived statistics. I can't even confidently tell you how I did it outside of chat GPT, okay? But the important thing here is that it's done. I never have to worry about it again ever a day in my life. And I'm moving on to psychology and English. And thankfully, some of the people who are in my class right now we're going to be in the same class going forward. One of my friends gave me this. Um, in Jamaica, we call it drops, but this one has uh, cashew in it instead of coconut. And it's so good. So I survived math. I survived statistics. And I'm, and I'm saving all of my um, paperwork and stuff for Jules because she's going to do statistics, I think, next summer. So I saved everything for her so she's able to browse, browse, run through. Okay? So excited for her. Actually, I need to find a case for this iPad. I made me some milk. Put a little cereal in there. Tomorrow, I need to start packing because we have a trip coming up and I have not started any form of packing yet. And I need to prepare for that. I'm going to feed me this little bottle and then I'm going to sit down and watch some YouTube, buy a case for this iPad and then we're gonna basically call in a night so I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> hello you guys <laughs> I'm in the kitchen I still can't believe that I've survived my math class and I'm alive and I'm well okay <laughs> I think Nia is a breakfast girl like me and I think I might have curated that because every morning when I come home we sit down and we have breakfast together <laughs> So I'm in the kitchen and I'm making breakfast. Mia is now at the height where she didn't touch the door handles. A while ago, I see her standing at the, the door, trying to pry open the door. That means at the front door that I don't normally lock, mainly because there's no reason. Now I'm gonna have to start locking it or the lady is gonna be down the stairs. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's so curious right now. So I'm about to make some breakfast. Listen, you know Mia could catch the door handles. You should see her on her tippy toe a while ago. 
trying to open the door. I want to make some fried plantain, but I do not like when the plantain is too, too soft. And this one, when it's too very soft and like it's falling apart when you touch it. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mia. Hi, Mia. <laughs> 